First, can I get some thoughts on the on the childhood centers? You've been roaming around here. Uh, yes. So the first thoughts of the childhood centers. It's just great to see kids so enjoy, uh, engaged in learning. They're excited. They're telling me they're having a fun day today, and we're learning at the same time. So great to see this level of enthusiasm and, and students' hard at work. And what else are you doing torn uh, torn around at different areas of schools today? You know, so I've been back in the position since the beginning of January, and one of the first things I've been wanting to do is get out into schools and see what's happening firsthand. And so, uh, speaking to the uh, district officials in the last couple of weeks, they said if you're ever in the area please stop in. So I gave them a call just a couple of days ago, said I'd love to come in and see what's happening in Springfield. And uh, they brought me here, so it's great to see. So Springfield, is, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. So Springfield and other districts are ramping up for this expansion of uh, uh -huh. childhood. Um, first of all, I want your reaction to seeing the addition of classrooms across the state. But what are some of the challenges they're encountering as they try to uh, serve additional four year olds? Uh, so we're absolutely thrilled to see the initiative uh, uh, resting the way it is with people taking full advantage of expansion in the early learning world. One of the top goals of our agency has been to talk about the importance of early learning and we're thrilled that the legislature was able to get some funding into uh, the formula to allow for that expansion. So very, very pleased to see districts accessing that and, and using it to serve our children. It's very, very clear in the research that uh, when we talk about ensuring that our children have a proper finish, um, that that begins with a proper start. So making sure all kids have access to these types of high quality learning experiences is uh, absolutely essential. So very pleased to see that. And what are Okay, so the challenges that still exist is that we know all children still don't have access. And again, we, uh, we emphasize that term access opportunity. It's still a parent's choice on whether or not uh, they send their children to early learning experiences, but we do, um, we do value that the challenge is whether or not that is truly accessible for all children in our state. Um, challenges also, I think we've seen um, a number of people talking about how do we make sure we find the best teachers to put in our classrooms. It looks like they've done a great job here. The teachers we've just met with have been really engaged in learning and making sure uh, we're able to, to find the, the absolute best um, ad adult learners in our classrooms with our children. So I'd say those are the two big challenges that we face today. Um, when I, you know, you'll hear us talk a lot at the department about ensuring that our children uh, graduate ready for success in school and then in life and you've heard the governor speak at length about workforce development and the role that K-12 can play in that and um, in order to do that we absolutely need to build on our earliest foundations um, it's really really clear um, that the brain develops at its its highest level um, before age five and so being able to uh, expose our children and, and making sure they're they walk into our doors kindergarten ready um, is absolutely essential to their safety. Anything else you wanted to add about uh, the launch program or anything that you were uh, looking at doing in this position? Uh, so actually, I just had the opportunity to the, the launch program you just referenced. Yeah. yeah, I just had the opportunity to kind of get a behind the scenes look at the launch program. It's so exciting to see, again, what we're talking about at the department is um, making sure we have access opportunity equity for our uh, children across the state and so making sure that children all across the state of Missouri have access to rigorous course taking patterns or any course and being able to see how the launch program is feeding into that goal has been really exciting and so I continue to uh, hope to support them in their work and are thrilled to see uh, that how many students are taking advantage of the types of programs that can be offered through a program like launch.